Good morning, everybody. Dwayne Lazar, Triple Nickel Trapper. Merry Christmas. Hope everybody has a wonderful holidays. We're at the lower crown here. This one was hit. This one was hit. And this one was hit, but no fur to show for it. So we'll make them back up and keep going. I'd like to uh, thank one of my subscribers right off the start fellow by the name of Richard Wicklund. He took it upon himself Monday to call Ian at Damn Beaver Trapping Supplies and he paid my tab off in full. That was wonderful. Thank you, Richard. You're an awesome guy, man. You have yourself a Merry Christmas too and all the best in the new year for everybody. I'm going to fix these up and uh, hopefully the Cayutes will come in and try and eat some of these rabbits for a change. And we got rams sitting for them, so. Yeah, let's get going. I hope we can catch some fur today. We're still at the Crown. I'm driving through this trail through the bush that we were on the other day, you might remember. Wired that limb up there. Right over the trail. Hopefully the deer will jump it. If not, they will kick the crap out of it. I'm just gonna spend my day putting more traps out and checking. This is my day, my Christmas present to myself is being out here, so I love it out here. So quiet, haven't seen anything except on the way out I saw something black, it looked like a squirrel, but it might have been a Martin run across the road by Patrick's place, but I didn't get close enough to him to really get a good look at him. He could have been a black squirrel though. He was highballing her though. All right, guys, I gotta get back to my office here. I'll let you know if I'm anything. This is the second ram I put in in here already. I got the other side to go down. I wanna put two down each side, so I think that's it for this side. I'll put a little shot of uh, skunk fire here somewhere on a branch just to make sure they come check it out. Right, our Bentley, Bentley and Chase sat here. All right, we got to start anyway. Not a horrible lot of bait in there, but for a weasel there is. I'm going to uh, give him a shot of skunk fire too. Got a new jar of it from Ian's there. Good stuff, man. Very good stuff. Okay, we'll make this back up. We're in the gray bush here. I saw a squirrel go right by that. I don't know, can you see that red pail there? It's a 220. I just added some skunk fire to it. Oh, right in the eye. Nothing happening in the rounds. Ah, oh, we got the trap. Oh, look at that. Trap, rat traps on the ground. Squirrel. Oh, well, we'll put some fresh uh, skunk fire in here and hopefully we get somebody besides the squirrel in here next time. Big fluffy tail on them. Okay, well, I'll make this back up and like I say, relure it. Gonna be a lot of reluring today because I let the boxes go with no skunk fires, so. We will be doing that all day too, so. Well, we're done that south side. Uh, we're taking a quick warm up in Pete's shop. Oh, that little cannon's awesome. I got one at home just like it, so. Uh, I run that line down that uh, new bush and everything. I even got into it in one spot, but it's too tight and trees down everywhere. And I had to manhandle that sled and get it turned around and going the right way. I wanted to dump a couple of Bridger 5s in there with some, uh, some bait on them, but it's just too hard. I can walk on the snow in there, and I mean, 
I could bust it up, sure, but it would just harden again around those bridges, so I'm not sure what we're going to do there yet. There's the lock of tracks is just ridiculous. I mean, we uh, we got to see some tracks out here today somewhere, so we're not giving up. We got uh, that one uh, weasel and those big dollar squirrels. <laughs> we'll keep going. We got to get a dog. We only got... Uh, Two left downstairs, they were thawing again, so it'd be nice to catch up on my skinning, but on the same token, I don't really want to catch up on my skinning, so I think you know what I mean. But we're gonna keep at it, so quick warm up and a smoke, and away we go. Had a little fox go through here and bugger it up. Reset and keep moving forward. I can see one of these ones isn't touched up here, but I can't see the other one. We'll have to get closer. No, they're both set up. Huh. Well, we got one, two four more of them down the uh, around the edge of the bush will uh, turn you on if anything happens otherwise we'll see you at uh, Lindsay's bait pile well not a raven off of this pile again or a magpie I can see the one through there standing Man, the last few days have sure been kicking the junk frustrating. Standing. Unreal. And that's standing. Oh, man. And nothing at Lindsay's bait either. I'm just not even seeing tracks, any dog tracks. Odd, odd little fox one, but I don't know what's what's going on here. And I don't mean just here, I mean everywhere today. We'll think about it when we get home and try and figure out a way to get get this turned around. Lots of tracks in here. They look like deer and maybe elk. And that's all set up. And another weasel. Both traps on that one. Not the hugest weasel I've ever seen, but damn, I want a dog today, not weasels. I mean, we'll take them, but. Well, damn it, I just come around the corner of the bush and there was a coyote out in the field running. I put, got a little closer to him, went to pull the gun out, and the front sight stuck in the damn case, so I didn't get a shot at him, and he just kept going. I didn't scare him too bad or anything, he was just loping away, so hopefully he'll come back. There's still plenty of bait here. Look at those heads, those lots of bait in there, so. Well, let's get in here and see what's happening at the big bush here.
All right. Had enough of these ravens. This is war. This is it. Unbelievable. Looks like it was a beautiful little dog. Time to uh, eliminate some of these bloody ravens. This is enough. Still hanging there. That really roasts my cookies when I see something like that, especially when I got a big pile of bait right there. Unbelievable. I always have such a hard time seeing these. There's one. And it's still made up. And that log in there should be the other one. And it's made up. Set up and this one set up. Still nothing in this box, that's crazy. Little tracks all up and down. Bait and lure. We're gonna give it a brand new shot of skunk fire. I'll catch up to you in a minute. Okay, we're on this one now that we moved because they wrecked that site. Oh, that sure is a nice light one. You guys might remember this one where I tied the tree over. Well, oh, that is a pretty little tie you, with a hole in it. Ah! I'm going to lose it here. I'm going to bring out a length of chain and about 24 and one and a half victors. And I'm going to set that bait up. You want to play these kind of freaking games? I'm going to uh, bite back even harder. Boy, that's something. Two wreck dogs. Well, it sure looks like the dogs came back to their kill. It's gone. Not a trace of it, just hair. I didn't figure it would sit there long. This one's got knocked down. Walking on here is a highway too. Huh. I do have another box on the sled, maybe I'll bring it in. All right, I'm gonna have a smoke and try and relax out here. Okay, we slid this one 180 degrees behind me, right to there. Now we'll go, uh, I screwed that box on and on that tree we found over there. Now we'll go get that one out of that ram and uh, move it to 
I decided I'll come back tomorrow with that chain and traps for those birds. I've had enough of them. Well, I'm pretty disappointed right now with those dogs. The one on this, the front here, I'm sure I can just sew that little hole, but uh, there's more than one hole in that other one. Lots and lots of fur ripped off. Don't look like we were touched here. Oh, wait a minute, that other end's buggered up there. Can't tell what it is. I know it's not a skunk though. Ah, oh, weasel. Alrighty. We will make this back up and put some more skunk fire in it. I think I'm going to turn it the box 90 degrees too, so. Alrighty. We'll get our butts home, I guess. I'll see you there. Well, guys, that just about does it again. Back in the basement here. This is the one from today, she's a pretty little dog, but I'm sure didn't need a, another vent hole in her chest there. She's pretty frozen, she's gonna need a, uh, a day or two. But these two big brutes here, I gotta back up on them. They go tonight and they can't wait any longer, I'm afraid. They don't, uh, they're so full, they don't feel like they're thawed, but they are, so. Three weasels in the deep freeze. What a disappointing day. You know what, we're due for a breakout day though and I've been putting the rams in and putting the work in so, I mean, got this all cleaned up ready to start flushing hides. I'll have 15 of them in the deep freeze here right away. It's time to catch some more dogs so, it's really a, a weird thing out there. I'm not seeing the track so, I, I just, that one dog I saw today, I don't know, that was just, maybe I scared him with the skidoo out of the bush, or... I'm overthinking this, I'm sure, but, uh, we'll get out on the 27th, and until then, you guys, keep moving forward.